Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing foreigners in Thailand. Maybe just chill, to use a Thai term, chill chill on social media. What am I talking about here? Thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, Britain Dies in Stunt Gone Wrong, quoting directly, a 33-year-old British man died on Saturday after his parachute failed during a jump from the top of a 29-story Pattaya condominium for his social media page. So I redacted the names. I don't like using people's names if I can at all avoid it. Name redacted. He sneaked into, is it sneaked or snuck? I never know. He sneaked into a condo building in Bangla Mung district with a 30-year-old friend to record video clips of a jump on Saturday night. Again, I'm redacting the name, but he jumped off the building, but his parachute failed to open. He fell and hit a tree before falling further and hitting the ground. He died at the scene. Yeah, very sad. When you get into this, you'll see they, they kind of go into some other exposition in there about how he, apparently he might have tried to do this before. He'd been, and, and apparently, again, I'm not trying to make light of any of this, but apparently he had broken into this place. This wasn't where he lived. He just sort of enjoyed using this place to do this sort of base jumping, whatever you want to call it, and then was, you know, doing it to create content apparently for his online presence, social media presence online. Now, again, you know, we're on social media. I get it. It's sort of part of this brave new world that we're all living in. But folks, please, foreigners especially, I, I do get it. it. It's really interesting to watch, especially new foreigners. My, my young colleague there, Andrew, although he's not that much younger than me, is, you know, I've met a lot of younger potential clients and folks the past few months, and yeah, it's a very different attitude than especially the older guys who have been around here for a while, or have been coming and going, or, you know, came a hundred years ago and now they're coming back. Anybody that's been here once sort of understands, yeah, in Thailand, the guardrails, if you will, are off. You're not... You're not bicycling with training wheels in Thailand when it comes to personal freedom. Thais kind of live and let live, and they're going to leave you to your own devices. And most Thais are not going to want to even get in the way of whatever some crazy foreigner is doing in Thailand. And again, I don't mean necessarily call this guy crazy, but to my mind, it doesn't seem like the most down-to-earth, if you will, thing. no pun intended. I don't mean, I'm really not trying to make jokes, but it doesn't seem like the most prudent thing to do to base jump off of a 29-story condominium, especially one that you're breaking into to do so. The, the whole thing doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. Again, not to cast dispersions, not trying to speak ill of the deceased. That's not the point here. But, you know, new guys coming in, I immediately see it. It's like a look of wonderment. I, I imagine it's probably like when a child first goes to a massive toy store or something. They just sort of you know, oh my gosh, I, I can really do this. I can, you know, I can, I can do what I want. I, I have some personal freedom, some personal agency. Yeah, it's great. It's great. But, you know, again, common sense should prevail. You know, use the rules of reason, for, if, for lack of a better word, and just be careful. And, and honestly, is getting yourself killed really worth likes? and shares or whatever it is, you know, I get it. We all use social media. You know, I really like it because I'm a news junkie, but I, I get it. I, I really do. But, you know, it's just a tragedy to see this kind of stuff. And unfortunately, it's not something we want to see here in Thailand. So hopefully in the future, if nothing else, this tragedy can act as a lesson for folks in the future to maybe, you know, make the same decisions you would make back in your home country, especially when it comes to risking your life.